Well, this is uh, Jai Shaft's take two, sort of. I've seen lots of horror stories on YouTube regarding the dry shaft snapping when they've been joined. Now my join is there, whether the uh, video picks you up or not. Now because I've already had one snap uh, from a weld, I thought I'd go a little bit further with what I am uh, originally thought I was going to do. So what I've done is machined uh, this piece of tube out of solid steel and I've actually made it a uh, tight fit and when I weld it back together actually on the dry shaft it will shrink and it will pull this these two sides together and I'm going to weld around there and this will actually put even more strength on the dry shaft where it's been joined so this one's ready to go all I've got to do is basically V out this part so I can get a good weld on the MIG welder and then I've got high tensile steel rods which are going to do the two end caps so that's one done now I've got to do the machine this one. So that's going to be part two of the job. So this is the other drive shaft all cleaned up on the lathe and balanced. Um, basically what I've done is um, run it on the lathe and then cut it back about half a millimetre so it uh, runs dead true. And then I've machined the collar which will go onto there and it fits just like that actually that's that one just to give you an idea show you well done machining and and that's just how it fits it's just it's a tight fit that's why it's holding itself there and I've got to just weld along now I've got a couple of these uh, and weld along there with a MIG welder and this side will be high tensile steel uh, arc welding on both sides uh, which I'll show you in a second.